For the second time this month, an inmate involved in a Delaware prison riot that killed a guard has died behind bars. Kelly Gibbs, one of 16 inmates charged with the murder of Correctional Officer Lt. Stephen Floyd, died at 2.45 a.m. on Thursday at the Howard R. Young Correctional Institution in Wilmington. He was 30. The Department of Corrections said in a statement that foul play is not suspected in Gibbs' death, Delaware Online reported. No further details were released. It follows the November 8 death of Luis Cabrera, a 49 year old who was listed as a potential witness in the trials over Floyd's murder. Cabrera was serving time on a double murder conviction and also died at Young Correctional. Share this article. Share the prison riot occurred on February 1, 2017, at the James T. Von Correctional Center. Several trials that have already taken place have revealed key details about the deadly riot. Inmate Dwayne Stotts admitted to planning the uprising to force Governor John Carney to hear inmates' protests about prison conditions. My goal was to do something to expose this place to where the public and the government would take notice. I say I got their attention, said Stotts, 37. A lot of stuff wasn't being addressed until that happened. When you get into a by any means mode, sometimes you do what is necessary, Stotts later explained under cross-examination. Prosecutors say that inmates work together to take control of Building C by beating and handcuffing the three guards there and locking them in closets. In addition to Floyd being killed, two other correctional officers were beaten and tormented by inmates before being released. Hours later, response teams used a backhoe to breach a wall and rescue a female counselor who was still being held hostage. She was not injured. In the trials that have already taken place, Stotts was convicted of murder, while Jero Ayers was guilty of lesser charges and not convicted of murder. Defendant Derek Forney was exonerated of all charges. Gibbs was mentioned several times during testimony at the trial. One witness said that he had bragged about beating the corrections officer Floyd with a fire extinguisher until he heard a crack or a pop. Another witness said that Gibbs was present during the fatal assault and had blood on his hands but did not say whether he struck the fatal blow. Earlier this week, Gibbs pleaded guilty to rioting kidnapping, and conspiracy in connection with the February 2017 uprising. But he still faced charges of first-degree murder and first-degree assault. His body was turned over to the medical examiner's office and state police to investigate his death.